Hello guys, Gladiator Bricks here with a review of the Toy Story 4. Give me a second to read off the, the name. Toy Story 4 Buzz and Bo Peep's Playground Adventure. Now the box is a little damaged. Here's, here's the box. Anyways, let's get on to the review. Anyways, it comes with a slide. An interesting build. Basically, and a teeter totter thingy. Not really cool looking. Let's get the minifigures out of the way. Let's show all the different designs. Now, here's the teeter totter build. I mean, a teeter totter. I forget. I forget what these things are called. I don't know much about playground equipment anymore. When I was a small young boy, I could probably have told. Well, let's put that out of the way, because that's a basic build, and I want to look at something else. The Skunk Mobile. Now, if I ever get a skunk character, this will be his a skunk superhero. I will turn this into his vehicle. The Skunk Mobile. It's an interesting build, and let's go ahead and sit a peep character in it. Bo Peep's the only one I think could fit in here without much trouble. Let's put her in it. There she is. Basically, nice looking build all around. He was on to the next part. The review the build itself. Now, the build has lots of designs I love, like. Like this little ladder right here that looks like looks like a playground, kind of like a playground climbing piece. And then there's this thing that looks like a porthole of some kind. Of course, oh, sorry guys. I'm on YouTube on my, looking over my YouTube channel like I always do. Anyways, on to the next part. Here's the back. Of course... Oh, there's also an inside to this as well. These pieces actually come apart and separate. Now let's just turn it around to the other side of the build. And of course, the house has an inside. Basically, a, an oven, a frying pan, and two eggs. Which I put in there to get them out of the way. And of course, you get to see the back side. Very nice. Go ahead and go back. And of course, on to the minifigures. Of course, I will probably see, save the best for last. For now, let's start off with Little Bo Peep. She has an interesting design, which looks very nice looking. Now let's go ahead and turn her, turn her head around so I can see her other face. She has a very friendly smile. Turn that back to the original face. And she has some pretty nice detail on her legs, her back, and of course her front. She's got some pretty nice details. The head is a new mold. I mean, the hair is a new mold. And of course, Another character, I don't know who her name is, I ain't going to look it up, so I'm just going to say Freckle-Faced Little Girl. She's very interesting looking, got detailed legs, detailed on. She's got, I think she's supposed to be a doll, actually. Let's go ahead and see her other face. She's got a smirk of some kind. Okay, back to the other side. And of course, there she is. Interesting figure, actually. But of course, here's the real good part of the set. Buzz Lightyear. Whoops. To infinity and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, Scott. Whoops. This is probably my first time getting a Buzz Lightyear figure. Never got any of them, so let's go ahead and look at the back. I love the piece they use for Buzz Lightyear. He's also got printing underneath. 
He's got inside printing as well. There, he's got torso printing without his wings and shoulder piece. Now let's go ahead and put the head back on because I'm just not going to keep on. There we go. Back to and of course, that's the coolest part about him. He basically has printing underneath his torso. And of course, the design itself is pretty reminiscent of a toy Buzz Lightyear figure. Let's go ahead and put him back down. And of course, somewhere in the background is probably another Disney character. There's... Hey, get out of here, Maui! This ain't about... This ain't, This is... I know this is a Disney review, but you're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> We're crying out loud. Should have known di other Disney characters would come in to check out the set. Well, anyways, to those of you who don't have this set, go ahead and go to the store and buy them when you... Well, you can, because this will probably be the last Toy Story theme you'll ever get. So, go out there, get them. Sadly, I don't feel like this is a good set. Technically speaking, it feels like the build is kind of cheesy. But that's just me. I'm more the type that wants a huge build. But other than that, it is 139 pieces. Retails for about 19 bucks. Or was it less than that? I forget. Oh well. Anyways, that's it for today. Comment and subscribe.